Hey, all you viewers to be named later. How are we doing today? That's right. As you can tell by the box, we got another knife review for you. But of course, you already knew that by clicking on the thumbnail and the title, right? Okay, today, focus, we're going to take a look at the Kaiser Beg Lighter, and I hope I'm saying that right. The V, V like Victor 4458 Alpha 1. And for some reason with Kaiser, those numbers are really, really, really important. All right. Now, before we bring out the blade, we're going to show you the usual stuff that comes inside the box. You know, it comes in a neat little sleeve. Oh, hey, cool. So you've got kind of like, I don't know, their new little catalog stuff. And what's really funny is I've brought the Theta to the channel, and I've brought the Dome into the channel. Both of those can be found in this little card sitting right up there, the Affordable Everyday Carry Blade Series that, you know, I have. Okay, hey, look at that. Chopsticks, <laughs> nice. Critical. And, oh, look at that. Wow, that's expired big time. Okay, well, there's a coupon in there for whatever. Uh, your usual little, like, blade chamois. And just information about, you know, Kaiser, all the little propaganda and neat stuff. And guys, I gotta tell you, I really, truly hate their brand new website. I have such a problem finding stuff. But okay, there's all the usual stuff that comes inside the pack. I know, you're like, shut up, fat boy, we want to see the blade. Boom, there it is. The Kaiser Big Lighter. Now, I gotta tell you, I love the look of this one. It feels good in the hand. I love the fact that it's got the du dual scales instead of just like something on one side and, you know, steel on the other. And the best part about this is I got this inside a PMP prep box. I'm actually not sure if this was the better budget blade box or the budget blade box. But if you're interested about the PMP prep box, there's a card for every single one I have brought to the channel. You're going to find some good quality gear in there and some really interesting videos. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff like we usually do. It's got an overall length of 8.125 inches. The blade is 3.50 inches, and sorry guys, those of you who know my channel, I got the kids like a little bit over here trying to behave and be quiet, and they're starting to get a little rowdy, so woohoo. Uh, close, it's 4.625, and a weight of 3.80 ounces. Now, for my information, Big Lighter is German translated basically to Companion. So it's kind of cool to have a blade that's your companion. I thought that was kind of neat. And as you can see, it's done in the drop point style. Now, I'm not too sure about how to show off grinds, but it is a flat grind with a plain edge. And it has their usual, and I hate to put it this way like that, but it kind of is the VG10 steel, which is just basically very good 10 steel. That's the only way to put it. It has a gray titanium um, coated blade. Hold on a second, please. Sorry, guys. Those of you who know, you know my channel, Kid Uprising, and all that fun stuff. All right. As I said, gray titanium coated blade. We do have a stainless steel frame in here. And if you notice, it is... The scales are kind of um, set back a little bit, and those are black textured G10 scales. Now, what got me is they said it's sitting on kind of like a satin coat, but I haven't taken the blade apart to see the bottom of the scales yet, and I'm probably not going to do that, okay? As you can tell, we do have a liner lock, if I didn't cover that before, sorry. I really, truly love the um, blue, uh, God, how can I put it? It's like the little blue collar inserts right around the pivot point. I really, truly like how that just offsets and gives it a little bit of color. Now, this is a left-hand, right-hand kind of carry, tip up only. The only way to get her open that i found that works perfectly is the dual thumb studs. As you can see, we do have a lanyard hole. And yes, in case you're wondering, this is made in China. Okay, now let's get to the fun part of this video. If you're new to my channel, we usually only do three cut tests, okay? They're pretty simple, pretty easy. And, you know, I don't take a blade out and beat the crap out of it because, well, I can't afford... $100 blades every single time I do a video, but still, heavy duty stock paper. You see, I had this problem with the other one too. All right, it'll cut, 
that paper and I'm trying to get the curly cues like I usually do but I don't know if it's the angle that I'm pulling or I don't know if the paper's gotten a little wet but the reason why I'm trying to get those curly cues is like I say in every video anybody can grab a blade and go sharp but if you drag it across and you maintain that edge well not the edge but that angle it should kind of do that it should kind of curl around on itself Normally I can get them a lot tighter, but that one's just really not playing along. And it did pick up a bunch of paper, but no biggie. Okay, next test, paracord. We just do two simple little things, all right? Pull test. Holy crap. I had to put a lot of effort into that one. A lot more than I should have just to pop simple paracord. And a slice test. It went through that. I am not happy about that pull test. It should have popped that paracord easy. It really should have. And our friend, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Simple, simple slice. Hmm. Let's try that again. That one went through a little bit better. And as we usually do, take a look. You can see flakes from either paracord or the ratchet on both sides. So I picked them up. It doesn't really feel. Wow, seriously? Yeah, uh, it, it's. The only way I can put it is it's not really grabbing like it should. It's sharp, but it's not razor sharp like it should be. Basically factory fresh out of a box because those are the only things I've ever cut with it since I took it out of the PMP prep box. I gave it its little lanyard. It's been sitting around, and I'm finally filming the review and doing the cutting. So that's not impressive to me. All right. I'm filming this on August 7th, 2020, and I did all the price checking on August 5th, 2020. I looked on Amazon, Blade HQ, and Kaiser, which is now the tzoutdoors.com, for the usual stuff for, you know, pricing and reviews. I could not find this blade on tzoutdoors.com. On Amazon, it's going to run you $59. Bucks, and Blade HQ, it's going to run you $59 as well. On Blade HQ, it's been reviewed 14 times, and it's got a 4.5 star rating out of 5. And on Amazon, this one has been reviewed 76 times <coughs> for basically 4.5 stars out of 5. Now, this is the best part of the video to me. It really is, and this is why I love doing these videos. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. I really want to know, do you think this one's a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I will tell you, I want to give it an F-bomb because I am not impressed with the cutting ability right out of a box. I should be able to get a razor-sharp blade, factory fresh, no questions asked, every single time from, you know, a company. But okay. So... For you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there for you on YouTube, and I am eternally grateful that you are giving me your time today. Now, for you first-time viewers on my channel, and you long-time viewers on my channel, well, God, I just blew that, didn't I? <laughs> but, you know, for you first-time viewers of the channel, you long-time viewers of the channel, well, here's a question for you. Why haven't you subscribed? Leave me a comment right down below what I can do to earn your subscription. You know, be constructive about it. Let's see what we can roll into a future video. After you've done that, take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. Now, if you so choose after you subscribe, please go ahead and destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because you're going to be able to notify yourself every single time my channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much about YouTube... Two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube's going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Kaiser Beg Lighter V Leg Victor 4458 Alpha 1. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope 
all of you have a great day today.